concentré mucho, traté de descubrir la forma en que miraba, la forma en que escuchaba. Siento que era un personaje que cuando leí el guión y cuando Pablo, el director, me lo explicó, dije, va a ser un personaje que básicamente va a tener que aprender a escuchar. Uno generalmente como actor se hace muchas preguntas, ¿cómo decido hacer la parte activa del trabajo? Y dije, me propuse que este trabajo iba a ser eh, una parte sumamente reactiva. So I focused a lot on um, trying to see how you know to look, how to hear. Uh, when uh, Pablo, the director, told me about the character, I thought a lot about you know the important part of the character was uh, listening. And, and I try to focus on that. And also, I try to focus a lot on the reactive part of the character. Y de tanto escuchar a todos los personajes que ustedes acaban de ver, eh, empezó la transformación de mi personaje. So after uh, the character was listening to all the other uh, characters, that's what, when the transformation of my character happened que a mí, para, a, a mi gusto, se ve más claramente en, en la escena que yo escucho largamente a Sandoka. And for me, the transformation is um, more clear in the scene where I'm listening to Sandokan. Una escena muy provocadora de parte de ambos, en cuanto a Dios, porque hay algo que está a punto de pasar en esa escena todo el rato. It's a very provo provocative scene because something is about to happen at that moment. Y en la en que le beso los pies. Also the scene where I kiss his uh, feet. You mentioned in the introduction uh, the Catholic Church has a tremendous role in Chilean society. And the film is both provocative but also very respectful in the way it tackles this um, this issue. Um, did you feel it was a real moral duty to participate in such a film? A mí me llamó mucho la atención la el respeto con el que se encuentra. Um, I was very, uh, it called call my attention the kind of respect that we, um, through which we approach the work. And I say this because we can be really very mischievous as actors and in a screen or in, a, in, the, set, in the scene or in... So sometimes you are called to do that. Pero me di cuenta que en nuestra formación, en la formación de todas las personas que participaron en esa película, en, en todos los actores y en la formación en general de, de las personas en Chile, la Iglesia Católica está muy presente. But I realize that in the formation of the actors in general, all the actors that participated in that movie, but also in the formation of all the people in Chile. Um, the Catholic Church is very present. Por lo tanto, la tratamos mal como se podría tratar mal a una familia o familia muy querida. Therefore, we treated the Catholic Church badly in a way that we would treat um, badly another family member that we love. O respetado históricamente. O we would uh, respect it the same way. And it has been historically respected, but it has also been hated, historically speaking. Uh, the film uh, takes place in a very uh, close community, uh, in, the, in a beautiful landscape, and it feels like a very intimate movie. Could you talk a little bit about working in such an environment, uh, both with this location and also with a very tight group of actors. Basically, 
realmente esa fue la metodología de trabajo de Pablo. So that was basically Pablo's methodology. Trabajar con un grupo de actores que se conocían profundamente. He wanted to work with a group of actors that knew um, each other very well. Entre todos los actores que ustedes vieron, es un actor, entre todos nosotros hacemos teatro, hay directores que nos dirigimos entre nosotros. Among all of us, all the actors that you saw, there are actors, directors, we direct each other. We went to a very small spa in the center south part of the, of the country. A very small surfing beach where there is a lot of wind blowing. And the hotel was very small as well. And the house where we filmed, it was very small as well. Creo que esa fue la metodología, la forma que usó el director para hablar de la claustrofobia y del encierro. So that was the methodology that the director used to talk about claus um, claustrophobia y la alienación que eso provoca. And the alienation that that causes. De personas que están de, 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 de encarceladas. People who are jailed. Uh, if anybody in the audience uh, has a question, please feel, please, sir. Uh, I like the films very much. Maybe it's still in the um, But I had a question about the uh, production value. It looks like the uh, interiors were shot with a uh, eye cluster. Uh, and, and wide angle, you know, distortion and very shallow depth of field. It was that deliberate as far as did the director want that feeling of there was no attempt to make this pretty. So those are questions that the director could answer better. Pero yo me atrevería a contestarle algo. But I would like to answer something to you. El concepto de belleza para Pablo Larraín. The concept of beauty for Pablo Larraín. Es ese. It's that one. So he wanted it. Sí. Yes. These places exist in Chile. Y no solo uno, sino Not only one, but plenty. Sudamérica y África son el destino de todos los sacerdotes que se comportan mal en el primer mundo. South America and Africa are the places of um, destiny, or, the, uh, or where the priests that behave badly in the first world end up going to. Y también los sacerdotes que se comportan mal en el tercer mundo también deben ser destinados. And also the priests in the third world that end up behaving badly have to be sent somewhere. Que se les llama casa de retiro. And these places are called uh, retirement homes. O crecimiento espiritual. Or homes of spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. What was the second part of the question? Uh, Y, y estos lugares y la, y la relación con la historia política en mi país and the relationship with the political history of my country es que estos lugares son clandestinos is that these places are clandestine a la mirada de la gente and they cannot um, be seen by people tal como en varios países latino latinoamericanos en mi país también no hay una dictadura 
Just like in many other places in South America, there was a dictatorship in my country. As you know, it lasted for many years. And there were many clandestine places where a lot of clandestine things occurred. So to discover in a country like this that the Catholic Church also had clandestine places like this was very hurtful. With coldness. It's a movie that actually did very well in uh, the in foreign countries. We're a very small country with a very small cinematographic industry. And the film uh, actually won awards in a very important festival in Germany. And it didn't matter in the country. It was received with a lot of coldness. And that speaks about the um, hurt feelings that were provoked by the film. Or also the um, uncomfortable feeling that the film could cause. Catholic Church is very much linked to the most conservative part of my country. To the right and to the ultra-right. Which um, they have very profound Christian values in quotation marks and also profoundly Catholic. But also the Catholic Church had a very important function during the dictatorship when they were persecuting people. The Catholic Church was protecting them and it helped the families of the disappeared and the people who were um, jailed and they helped them to reclaim people and to find people. So therefore, discovering these kinds of things was very hurtful for everybody. Because in the Catholic Church in my country, you can find all the political strata. I want to congratulate you for the film. It was a very good film, and I'm very impressed by the image of uh, your character kissing the feet of Sandokan. So the question is, do you think that the Catholic Church in Chile is in the process of kissing the feet of the victims? Ojalá. I hope so. Pero son procesos muy difíciles. But these are very difficult processes. Because inside of the same church, there are many factions competing against each other. There are a lot of um, power fights within the Catholic Church in Chile. And one that resists um, in acknowledging this and there are other factions that actually are, are, are more liberal, want to understand this and want to move forward. So this is the kind of conflict that the Catholic Church in Chile is going through or is, is experiencing. Um, 
are we gonna, oh, we have one more question. Go for it. Are you asking me for my opinion of the Pope? <laughs> the Pope is Argentinian. <laughs> we compete in football. It's okay, soccer. Also in terms of the church, I don't know. It's a good Pope. Or at least he has the intention of bringing the church to the people. So he's buying a bus ticket and he gets on the bus. And that is something that a pope should have done a long time ago. And then, in terms of the relationship of my country with the director, eh, es una relación conflictiva. It's a conflictive relationship. El cine en Chile lo hace el, el arte, el cine en Chile, en, durante muchos años estuvo en manos de la izquierda. Film, uh, the film industry in Chile, for a long time, it was on the hands of the left. Y Pablo, la familia de Pablo, de Pablo Lamey, es una familia que ejerce, son políticos de derecha. And Pablo's family actually come from uh, the political right. Sin embargo, él tiene una mirada profundamente crítica. 